Hulk and back. So, um, today we join... Oh goodness, I forgot. Even though this is kind of quiet to me, it's probably loud to you. Uh, I'll have to speak louder. Um, but yeah, welcome back. Uh, today we join to play Rockwin. Um, in my opinion, one of the best games of the tens. Um, I believe it was released in 2015, 2016, something like that. I uh, much anticipated getting a chance to play it. Uh, I know RPGs in general are not my sort of my cup of tea, um, but I'm very much looking forward to the story in this game. And the artwork is magnificent. The music, you've already heard samples of it. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Um, even the animations. Just everything here, every little detail is very well considered. Who's there? Hey. How'd you get in here? Your door is unlocked, man. Oh. Who are you? I'm Yami. I live across the hall. Did you just move in? Or something? No. I think I got here around the same time as you. But they never let me out of my room. Oh. I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. I sneak out at night when the nurses aren't watching. <laughs> Promise you won't tell anyone I'm here, okay? I promise. So how long are you in here for? I don't know. Mom says it could be a while. Same here. It gets really boring sometimes. I know what you mean. Someone's coming. Sorry, man. I gotta go. Hey, wait. Yeah. Maybe I could visit you sometime? It's not as boring when there's two. You won't be able to get into my room. I'm not even supposed to leave, remember? Oh, yeah. But don't worry. I'll come visit you again. I promise. Yami? Where'd you go? Alright, where do we go? Let's see, what's this here? Patient 237. Pemetrex disodium. Carboplatin. Carboplatin. Treatment guide. An origami hat. Open the cabinet. Eh, it's empty. Hello? Hi, dear. It's Mom. Mom, just wanted to let you know that my train was delayed, so I'm going to be a little bit late. Oh. Okay. I'm so sorry, dear. I'm going as fast as I can. It's okay, Mom. I understand. But I'm off work this week, and I dropped off your little brother at Grandma's. So... We'll be able to spend lots of time together. We can play games, I'll read to you, it'll be like our own little party. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you too. Well, 
Well, well, I see you're wide awake and walking around. No one told me I couldn't walk around. <laughs> okay, wise guy, I've got a couple things to tell you. First of all, some good news. Your tests have come back, and it turns out things are looking pretty good. In fact, I think it might be okay for you to walk around the halls a bit today. You mean, I get to leave my room? Indeed. Yes! Not so fast. There's something else I need to talk to you about. This morning, the cafeteria reported that a lot of food and drink was stolen from the kitchen. Since the wing was all locked up last night, we believe the thief might still be in the building somewhere. So you can take a moment to just check and see if any of your belongings were stolen? Okay. We've got an origami hat. We've got patient stuff. Oh no! It's gone! Doctor, they took it! They took Rockwin! What did they take? Rockwin! It's my favorite book in the whole world! Hello. <laughs> my mom reads it to me every night. It's very special. Are you completely sure you didn't just misplace it? I'm sure. After mom finishes reading, she always puts it back in the same place. It's our tradition. Okay, okay, calm down. What did your book look like? Hmm. It has a brown cover. It looks very old. And there's a clasp made of silver with a hole for the key. A silver clasp, huh? I guess that explains why they take a children's storybook. Well, I'm really sorry about this. I can only imagine how important it must have been to you. I want you to know that we'll be doing all we can to track down the thief. Mom's going to be so sad. You know what? What? Since you're allowed to leave your room today, why don't you go talk to some of the other folks around the floor? Who knows? Maybe someone will be able to help you get your book back. Take care now. I'll be back to check on you in a bit. Alright, we got a house point here. Looks a bit thirsty. Got a mirror. Fill the sink? Yeah, sure, why not? Can we wash our hands? I'm gonna pretend that I washed my hands. The sink is definitely filled with water. I heard you had a pretty rough day today. You hang in there, alright? You're doing great. Broken music box. You touch that music box, I'll break your hands. Oh, nice to meet you too. What the heck do you think you're doing in my room, kid? Get out! Figures, when I want visitors, no one shows up. But when I need peace and quiet, every idiot in the world has to come to my room. But where's that nurse with my coffee? Well, I'm gonna have to see if we can get him some coffee, eh? Door is locked. Keep out. Only authorized personnel allowed beyond this point. 
there is an electronic device with the passcode entry labeled Closet 5C. However, it doesn't appear to be turned on. Can I talk to this other person behind the counter? Guess not. Hey there. Hey, I don't think we've formally met. I'm Cora. It's probably pretty easy to remember me because I'm the only girl in my grade with a pink mohawk. Cool. And don't worry, my mom knows. She's the one who let me do it. Anyway, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too, Cora. Oh hey, some friends and I are working together to do something special for the people on our floor here in the hospital. Like what? I'll have more details later, but if you find anything cool you want to donate, come talk to me. Alright. I know a lot of folks feel powerless when they have to stay here, but here's the way I see it. No one knows how much time they have in this world. My time could be up in 80 years? Or 8 minutes? That's pretty morbid. Point is, I'm going to do everything I can to make good use of my time. Time's precious, you know. If I could help just one person here to feel happier, then it would all be worth it. Hear about the thief? Dude, yeah! Chef Panky came out here all and he was not happy. I guess the thief took a lot of food from the cafeteria kitchen. How the heck did they get into the kitchen? You can't even get in there from the cafeteria. Believe me, I've tried. Who do you want to know about? Just between you and me, I think Tony's hiding something. He acts so grumpy all the time, but he's got this little music box in his room, uh, pretty little music box in his room that he guards with his life. Why would a grumpy old dude like that have a sweet little music box? What do you want to know about? Um, well, I guess we talked to Tony. Let's know more about him. Oh, I'm sorry. We've already talked about Tony. We'll come back with more questions later, I'm sure. Hello. Hello. Hello, small child. What brings you to my blood draw station? Interested in learning about the circulatory system? Platelets? Perpetual motion machines? <clears throat> what can I help you with? Sometimes I like to contemplate things like, why are there only two egg-laying mammals in the world? I'm sure many species could benefit from laying eggs. So far, only the platypus and echidna families have hopped on that bandwagon. Why, if I could lay eggs, I would sure be laying eggs all the time. Cool story, bro. What can I help you with? You hear about the thief? Come here, I'll let you in on a little secret. Have you noticed anything strange about this hospital? Hmm. Mm, not really. A while back, I started noticing cryptic little messages written all over the place. And last night, I saw someone go into that closet south of Tony's room. But, I was told that closet's been locked since before I started working here. I'm pretty sure they were not staff. What did they look like? I only saw them out of the corner of my eye, and only for a second, so unfortunately, I couldn't say. Alright, who do you know here, Jackie? I guess we haven't talked to any of those people yet. Let's get a chance to meet them first, and then hear his opinions about them. Did you call me? Yeah. Apparently, the toilet in Sue's room is broken now. Why am I... I kind of wish that Shift Leader had a Scottish accent. Just because that would be entertaining. Apparently, the toilet in Sue's room is broken now. Also, I can't do a Scottish accent, so whatever. Can you do anything about it? 
I'm a nurse, not a plumber. I don't even know how to fix a toilet. Well, someone has to do it. You know we're short-staffed. Fine, I'll go see if I can dig up some supplies. Uh, for some reason, I'm just amused by the possibility of such a bossy person having a strong accent. Not sure why. Kind of reminds me of Scrooge. Quit bugging me, kid. I got a lot to do right now. Even better, if their accent changes every time they say a line. It's like, this would be in a New York or Jersey or whatever accent here. Quit bugging me, kid. You get it. My stomach's growling. What I wouldn't give for a peanut choo-choo. Well, last time we got you a peanut choo-choo. We did attempt this last weekend. And a stream crashed and we're starting over, but last time we gave him peanut choo-choo. I think that's not going to be our top priority this time. Now where did I put that key? I must have dropped it somewhere. Oh, what's this on the... S can't quite pick out what these things are on the sides of the room. Looks like... Kisaburo's room. Can I read this? Can I read it this way? Dash, 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 room. The door is locked. Alright, let's go meet Kisaburo. Huh. I hope that's tea. I haven't seen you in a long time. It's good to see you walking around again. You need something? It seems these days it's getting harder and harder to find the words. Either that, or people just aren't listening. But you know, if it's my time to leave this world, then I am ready to go. I just want to make sure I say the things I need to say before it's too late. You need something? I've been telling the nurses for a long time that someone's been sneaking around here after hours. I heard they were stealing food from the cafeteria kitchen. Which means they obviously have some way of getting into parts of the hospital that we patients don't have access to. What, were they crawling around through the vents? You'd have to be pretty small to fit through there. But no one around here listens to me anyway. They all seem to think that I've lost my mind. You need something. I'm not one for gossip. A stack of notes has been stapled together and attached to the inside of the folder. Based on the results of Kisaburo's brain scan, we believe the metastases to be the cause for his delirium. It is my recommendation to begin administering antipsychotic medication. Please refer to the list of hallucinations and delusions. He was found climbing ladder in construction zone 5B. When questioned, replied that he intended to make a hole in the ceiling. He was found in the yard, digging mud. Completely unresponsive when questioned, appeared to be unaware of the location and time. Carrying bags of a thermometer, patient 262 blood samples. Ooh, there's a soup ladle that's caked with mud, uh, lying on top of old medical forms. Looks like there's something beneath the ladle. You found 5G. Attention all hospital staff. Kisaburo is not allowed to have caffeinated liquids before prep. Someone has etched something into the edge of the bulletin board. Yeah, let's read it. Y-M-I-I-I. -I -I. It appears that there is a tunnel running through here that has been blocked off. Perhaps you could get through if you had the right tools. 
The door is locked. The toilet in there is broken. Some metal thing is stuck inside. If you have to go, you should probably find a different bathroom. How are you doing today? My wife's been asleep for months now, but I still talk with her every day, and sometimes I read to her. Have you noticed that some of the doors around here have electronic passcode devices? I've been told that those areas have long been closed off, even to the staff. But recently, I noticed that one of the devices had been turned on. Would you like to learn about? On occasion, I've had to take Sue back to her room. She has a habit of walking around aimlessly on certain nights. I believe Tony hasn't talked with his family in a long while. It makes me sad to think that families can be torn apart just because people don't see eye to eye on something. I heard that Cora and her friends have been working on a special project to boost morale around the hospital. Last I heard, they were calling themselves the Towel Cape Heroes. blood samples, anoxic brain injury, stage 1 coma, respiratory therapy session 1121. Hello. Hello. Wow, so many different marbles. Yeah. I've been collecting for a long time. A house plant that looks like it could also use some water. Hey, what are you doing? Um, I, uh, this is a girl's room, you know. But. If you really got to use the bathroom, come talk to me. So, you want to use our bathroom, eh? Well, I guess? Yeah, I get it. We all got to go sometimes. But I can't let just anyone use our bathroom. It is a girl's room, you know. Gosh, it looks like you really gotta go, though. Hmm. Well, how about this? See that jar next to me? Yeah? That's my marble collection. I'm missing some, though. I was carrying a bunch of them around in my pocket. And I'm pretty sure some fell out. If you could find me just one, I'd let you use our bathroom whenever you want. Do you think you could do that for me? I'll try my best. Thank you. The last place I was playing was with Danielle in the cafeteria. So you might want to check in around there or check around there. All right, yeah, let's take a look. I think the cafeteria is this way? The new patient lounge is still being built. Please come back later. I wanted to check everything in this room first. I didn't think it would let me through. 
Doors rusted shut. A pile of freshly made plushie toys. It looks like there's something underneath one of the toys. You found a snowy mark. Disconnect it again. Reconnection successful. All right, well, that was exciting. Oops, I hit the pause button by mistake here. Hey there! Long time no see, buddy. You hungry? You need something? Do you hear? They finally stocked the vending machine out in the hospital hall with peanut choo-choos. The shift leader was in here the other day, begging us to do it. Guess it's not a, just kids that like them, eh? Oh yeah, someone came in here and took a bunch of food and drinks. Ain't no way they get in here through the cafeteria. See that metal door up here? It comes down after hours and no one gets through after that. So, I bet they somehow got into the backspace. The backspace? Yeah, it's a network of closed off passageways. Half-built rooms, storage closets, you know? The aftermath of... well... Yeah, it's crazy back there. Who who you want to know about? Don't tell her I said this, but Danielle's got a heart of gold. She spends her free time coming in here and sewing toys for all the patients. And really don't tell her I said this. She's a bit of a crazy cat lady. I heard that. <laughs> eh, what can I say? It's true. Yeah, it is. All right. If that Kisaburo comes in here one more time borrowing my stuff, I swear... Oh, borrowing? Oh, yeah. He, he took all my soup ladles. And for what? To go digging in the mud outside to look for buried treasure. I feel bad for the guy, though. It's never easy when one starts losing their mind like that. It must be even tougher for his family. Jackie's a smart guy. Sometimes I think he's on another planet, but if there's one thing we can talk about, it's food. Of course, we have different methods. He's all science. He cooks with his brain. I cook with my heart. Wow, there's a lot of food over here. Got box lunches, rice bowls, snacks, various drinks, yogurt, and fruit cups. I was curious if those double stacked or not. Magazines, notebooks, and other paper materials. I'm hungry. <laughs> Spins filled with ice cream and other frozen snacks. All right. Ooh, what's in here? All right, can't look at that. Oops. Sorry, hon, but you know you're not supposed to leave this wing. Insert cre credit or debit card now. Surcharges may apply.
Well, we got a snowy marble. And Sue wanted another marble. Or she won't let us use the bathroom. So, let's give Sue the marble. And see if we can use the bathroom. If I can navigate my way over to Sue here. Any luck? You give uh, the snowy marble to Sue. Ah! You found my snow world. Snow world? Shh. Can you keep a secret? Yes. These aren't just marbles, you know. They're little worlds. All of these are tiny planets with tiny people living inside. That's why it's so important for me to find them all. This swirly white marble is a snow world. It's snowing all the time there. I know that might sound boring, but it's not. Real snowmen live there, and they're always having parties. What kinds of parties? Snowman dance parties. I love dancing. Me too. Oh. They have many lanterns everywhere, too, and a blue campfire that feels cold. But if we went there, we wouldn't freeze. The snowmen make a magical drink that can keep a person warm. So we could dance with them and never get too cold. That sounds great. Thanks for helping me. I feel better now that they're back with me. My name is Sue. It's nice to meet another kid around here. Oh yeah, feel free to use our bathroom anytime you want. If you find any more of my marbles, do you think you could bring them to me? Of course. Thank you. All right. Well, let's go abuse our bathroom privileges. Is there a light switch? Oh, there is. Nice. Let's fill the sink with water. Pretend to wash our hands. It looks like the toilet is stuck. It appears there's a tunnel running through here that's been blocked off. Perhaps you could get through if you had the right tools. Looks like there's something shiny floating inside. Yeah, let's do it! Oh, we got the key to Tony's bathroom. Alright, can we... Yeah, I would like to wash my hands, please. Pretty please? Okay, whatever. Fine. You'll never guess what I found in there, Sue. How's it going, Sue? Did you make your hat? I can only make two things out of folding paper. A box and a crane. That's still pretty good. <laughs> Thanks for saying that. Right, there's plants growing on the roof. I miss my friend so much. If she was here, we would go up there together. Have you been up on the roof before? There are plants growing up there. Yep. Let's see. There's no run button. We're gonna walk gracefully. And hopefully remember which room is Kisaburos. Or, I'm forgetting the characters' names. I'm bad with names. This is Tony. It's too much to ask to get a cup of coffee around here. You know, the phone's right there, Tony. Just saying. I'm gonna fill all the sinks with water. A box labeled 5C Power Supply. A paper notice is attached to the box, and there's a lever in front. 5C power supply. Do not tamper with this device. 
Whee! Power supply is on. Yeah, there's no point in talking to Tony before <laughs> he has, has coffee. He'll just growl at you like a big angry bear. I heard that, you little brat. <laughs> it's charming, isn't it? So endearing. Alright, blood samples, etc. Um, so we activated the 5C power supply. Here's... Um, I think the thing on the doorknob said 5C. Yeah. Hmm. I have no idea what the passcode is. I'd probably look pretty suspicious just standing here entering random num- Oh, come on! Live a little. <laughs> Medical forms. Something beneath the forms. We got money. Woo. This cabinet's empty. All right. Um, struggling to remember what we did last time before things... Cr oh. We kind of have to help people out, don't we? Uh, let's do our part, but only after verifying there's nothing else we can do first. Get some scrubs. Doors rusted shut. Oh, I can't use the scrubs here. Find out who stole your book. Well, that seems important. Alright. Oh! The hot coffee will be restocked as soon as our shipment arrives. Shift leader. Alright, we got some peanut choo choos. And I bet shift leader's been standing here all day and would really like a snack. They're every bit as grumpy as Tony. Wow! Thank you. I haven't eaten anything all day. I guess they won't mind if I go take a short break. Yeah. So I think we're back caught up with where we were last time before things crashed. An assortment of books and pamphlets line the shelves. A newspaper clipping is sticking out from between two of the books. Well, let's read it. 19 March, JNR. Already strapped for resources, hospitals are unable to accommodate new patients. Several years worth of medical journals. Folders filled with medical forms. A laminated card is clipped to the back of the one of the folders. Closet 5C passcode 1721. Let's have some fun. Let's check out what's in this closet. I'm assuming we can get in. One, seven, two, one. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Really? Attention hospital staff urgent. Begin transfer of medical supplies to the second floor storage wing immediately. Someone's etched something into the edge of the bulletin board. Yeah, let's read it. O R S Y R I I. there's a tunnel that's been blocked off but if we had the right tools there's so many things we could do unfortunately we're never gonna have the right tools search the shelves there's books and pamphlets and a, a newspaper clipping sure 14 March JNR um, the NSA said the number of people exposed to radiation was expected to rise Workers in protective clothing scanned people arriving at evacuation centers for radioactive exposure. 
several years worth of medical journals. Folders filled with medical forms. Looks like there's something beneath the folders. You found a key. Small cabinet. Small cabinet? I have a sense that, like, I should know what a small cabinet is. I've probably seen it already. And likely one or more of my viewers have seen it too. The Weather Journal. We weren't able to keep everyone alive. But we tried our best. Blood samples. It's an electronic device with a passcode entry labeled Exit 5C. Okay, I'm just going to guess that it's the same passcode. Because what are the odds? Access denied. Alright. Well, that's lovely. Small cabinet. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, same old, same old. Interesting. Okay. I've tried to enter this room. This room's locked. So I'm looking for a small cabinet somewhere. Oh, I wasn't able to take the scrubs. I just found a pair of scrubs hanging inside. That's different than taking the pair of scrubs. Evidently. Alright, we got stuff in this corner, perhaps? We found some more scrubs. A lab coat and a pair of scrubs. Looks like there's something beneath the lab coat. 5G. How's your detective work coming along? Find any good leads? I guess we didn't tell her about the leads we found. Oh, this is a cabinet. But it's not a locked small cabinet. We got a locked door. Storage area 5B. Patient's not allowed beyond this point. Well... <sighs> I know I've struggled with the game Mist, and this isn't quite as ornate as Mist as far as, like, creating ridiculously complicated puzzles. I would still appreciate it if I could figure out where to go. Like, I would like to get him coffee. Hmm. Now, we saw the shift leader go off this way, right? Maybe I want to go bother the shift leader if I can find them? So, where might they be? <laughs> Wait, you fixed the toilet? Thanks, kid. Telling you, the things I end up doing here, they didn't teach in nursing school. Yeah, there's a lot of things that you learn in life. Whoa, really? Oh, I'm sorry, that's the same message I read last time. It just seemed more serious this time than when I was reading it. Um. Those are the rest of my little worlds. Do you want to know about any of them? That planet's like a really big forest. The trees are so dense that you can't even see the ground. There's a really big tree in the middle. See? He watches over everyone and keeps them safe. If anyone is acting mean or crazy, the big tree will put them in a cave until they calm down. So you never have to worry. We can't go to this planet anymore because it's polluted. 
See all that purple stuff in the air? It started coming out of the ground, and now it's hard to breathe. Maybe someday we can clean it up, though. It used to be a very nice place. This is the Paradise Planet. It's like a really big, beautiful ocean where everyone can go swimming. The water is special because even humans can breathe when they're inside it. My friend and I swam here all day. This is giving me pause for thought. Who is Sue's friend? We never wanted to go home. What if the thief was just hungry and couldn't find food anywhere else? I feel bad for them. Yeah, we've had that conversation before. Well, I am still seeking a small cabinet. <laughs> Do you suppose that w Jackie here would allow me look at his stuff? And I guess there's nothing to look at. That's strange. Okay. Maybe we go back to the cafeteria? I didn't see anything over here. Yeah, it's still rusted shut. <sighs> still not seeing a small cabinet anywhere. Hmm, maybe Danielle would be able to help us out. Wait, can we take one of these hot drinks? I bet uh, Chef Panky could make us something for um, Tony. Yeah, uh, do you like cats? Who doesn't like cats? Aren't they the best? I have like four of them at home. It all goes well. I'll have lucky number five by the end of this year. You know. Oh, get out of my sight. <laughs> wow. I wasn't expecting a special reaction there. Uh, uh, okay. Whoops. All right. Um... Did not expect to piss off Danielle like that. Sorry, Danielle. Alright, so... Still looking for a small cabinet. Because I've got a key to a small cabinet. That's like the only thing I have. And I'm going to cherish it until uh, I'm able to make use of it. Hospital admittance for number two. Honestly... Hmm. So we have one room in the game where we can't progress until we can guess the passcode. Let me guess. Zero, 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 zero. Access denied. All right. One, zero, zero, zero. Access denied. We're going to get it, folks. Two, zero, zero, zero. Okay, fine. You know, I bet we could get that. That's not the most efficient way for me to progress in this game. But I bet we could do it. Alright, so... I don't know, is Korra going to help us out? Probably not. Hmm. 
been there, been here. Uh, I think we've... <laughs> Does it smell that bad? It's a new kind of tea I've been experimenting with. The nurses don't seem too thrilled about me drinking experimental things. But I don't care. Folks here don't seem thrilled with a lot of the things I do. You need something. Seems these days it's getting harder and harder to find the words. Either that, or people just aren't listening. But you know, if it's my time to leave this world, then I am ready to go. I just want to make sure that I say the things I need to before it's too late. I've repeated myself because I'm getting lost. Um, there's not a dialogue cancel option if I happen to be foolish enough to select the same dialogue option multiple times. Uh, yep. Also, there's not a cancel option in everything here. Open the cabinet. Maybe this is the cabinet. Nope, this isn't it. We've been there before. If only we had the right tools, we might be of some use. <sighs> so, I guess this is a good time for me to um, just speak about random things. I have praised this game as one of the better games of this decade, if not the best. And I mean that in a, on account of the artwork and the music and the characters and the story. Um, and honestly, in RPGs, puzzles are always a bit hard to develop. Uh, just the technology to support dynamic puzzle making isn't quite there yet. So it takes a tremendous amount of effort to produce a uh, puzzle of any quality. So the fact that we can have puzzles at all, or we could have this sort of adventure here, um, it's, I don't know, this is actually really clever. It's an extraordinary achievement. I mean, she's not there already. Well, she should be there soon to take your vitals. You know the drill, hon. Is the cafeteria open? It is. They should be serving breakfast now. Alright, maybe I have to go get some breakfast. Maybe I do have to get breakfast from Jackie. Because our doctor friend's not helping us out. An eye chart. In the lower left corner of the eye chart, you can make out some writing. M.A. I I. All right, Jackie, what you got for me? Or Panky? Sorry, Jackie's the blood dude. Panky's their chef. I used to work for a big fancy restaurant. Pay was good, but I didn't really enjoy it. Um, did you hear? They finally stocked the vending machine in the hospital all with pita chichus. Like I just told you, like, ten minutes ago. You completely forgot. Alright, I already asked him about everybody. I asked uh, Danielle about everybody. I guess I could pick other dialogue options and ask everybody about everybody. Because that's a thing I can do. Um, you don't have many dialogue options. <laughs> Alright, let's talk with you here. Yeah, walking is good for the circulation. Or could it be that circulation is good for walking? Could it be that tea is good for circulation? And the circulation is good for walking? I don't know. All right, yeah, I guess I didn't ask Cora about everybody. Let's go ask Cora. Uh, if I could, how do you like my cat? 
I gave her pink fur. <laughs> hey there. Just between you and me, I think Tony's hiding something. He acts so grumpy all the time. He's got the... Yep, yep. We asked her about Tony already. He's at the blood draw station. He's cool. A little weird, but cool. If you ever need to know about anything technical, he's the guy to ask. Um, Sue's a sweetheart, but she's obsessed. Yeah, I guess she had to move to the hospital before saying goodbye to her friend. And that's pretty much all she talks about now. It's good that she had some friends. Um, you tell me about folks here. The children love Chef Panky. If he notices that someone's having a bad day, he'll give them ice cream. Ice cream? Using the scientific secret of salt to lower the freezing point of ice in order to freeze the cream. Genius. What would you like to know about? I knew Kisaburo back before his mind started going. We spoke often. It's sad to see someone's mental condition deteriorate like that. What do you mean? Well, for example, recently the staff found him outside. Yep, digging in the mud again. He was on his hands and knees making pud piles of mud using spoons he got from the kitchen. But hey, maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe he was looking for buried treasure. It could be. Danielle is the purple-haired girl who hangs out in the cafeteria. She sews the most marvelous plushies for the patients here. Alright, who else can we ask about people? Obviously we can't ask Tony anything. We're not going to find anything if we go back to our room. Um... So this up here was our room, right? Yes. This here was Tony's room, in which we can't do squat. And I'd like to try to do something with the music box, but I can't. Ooh, can I dial for coffee? Oh, I'm sorry, this is a book. A book about airplanes. Can we ask him about airplanes? Guess not. Yep, yep, yep. Picky, picky Tony. Hmm. Now maybe I'm supposed to know the passcode? To uh, exit 5C? How would I know the exit code? Or the exit 5C passcode? How might I know that? I've got a key to a small cabinet. I'm stumped. A pink cat? I guess that's what that is. disappointing <laughs> oh my goodness am i seriously gonna have to ask uh some of the folks around this game for hints to figure out how to this is so embarrassing i mean it's one thing to have to ask folks for hints but over something like this IV bag filled with a saline solution. I mean, goodness. Like, I've seen snippets of this game. I... There's so many fantastic things once we're able to get rolling with this game. 
And I do fully expect to get stuck in some places, but my god, I did not expect to get stuck in the hospital. Like, where I'm stuck right now. Uh, well, maybe at this point I should refer you to other people's playthroughs of this. Because I'm probably the most stubborn of the people here. I'm like Tony, in a sense. Like, I am not going to ask for help. I'm going to figure this out. <laughs> or I'm going to get really ticked off trying to figure it out. Uh, M okay, Y, M, and three eyes. Um, I mean, there's the three, there's like the two eyes. I just don't think the Y and the M and the things scratched on the edge of the boards could mean anything. At least not for this. If if it does mean something, it's a really well hidden clue. But also like all the num all the eyes are like a three and a one and a two. And some of them are spaced out a bit and some of them aren't spaced out. So maybe it's a binary clock. Maybe it's like one space I is supposed to represent a five. I don't know. Oh, wait. What is this thing again? M-A-I-I. -I. <sighs> M-A-I-I. Y-M-I-I-I. I just have no idea what to make of those clues. Even if I were to write them down, it would not mean anything to me. Are you able to look at the board up here? No. This is so embarrassing. In a way, like, I'm amused, um, but also I'd like to make progress. It'd be nice. On the bright side, the soundtrack here is beautiful. And we could stay stuck here for a long time. I heard that you create an entire set of armor out of paper. That's quite impressive. Yep, and then the same. His wife's been asleep for months. We've asked him about all these characters. Uh, about the towel cape heroes and such. Um, I mean, I guess there's all the medicine amounts. Maybe I could read something into these, although I don't think so. 1021. 1028. 11, 2. Carrying bags, and then cuts off there. Um, Yeah, the Y, M, and then the three. Uh, I just don't understand what these codes mean. Maybe I am supposed to, like, at this point, if I'm stubborn, if I'm not asking for help, maybe I should try to bust my way through here. So the code to get through the other door is 1721. How about 1271? That couldn't possibly be it. Yeah. With trial and error, I could break through that door. It might be more efficient than what I'm currently doing, but it would be far less entertaining. 14 March.
can't examine the clock. If only we had the right tools. There's so many things we could do. O R S Y R I I. What do you think you're doing in my room, kid? Get out! We're just gonna continue talking with Tony until we get an altercation here. And by that I mean until, like, he beats me up. Is there nothing I can do to, like, provoke Tony? Uh, he reacts exactly the same way every time I try to touch his music box. Hmm. All right. Got an empty cabinet. Um. I mean, maybe I toggle the power supply? No. I don't. After having put in the passcode, I don't have the ability to toggle the power. If I could, maybe that would help me get in to gain entry to uh, the exit. But. Uh, no such luck. Alright. Uh, da, 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 da. you. <laughs> uh, I gotta go. I am so confused. I'm just trying to think, what else can I try here? Because it seems like the only thing I have access to be able to try is Exit 5C. And it doesn't seem to be what I'm looking for. If we had the right tools, just imagine all the possibilities. Um... Patient survey, impatient survey, a colorful paper flyer, towel cape heroes, a group of fun-loving volunteers and patients working together to make the hospital a better place for everyone. Doors locked. <laughs> Sold out of peanut choo choos. Cafeteria. Ah, oh, doctor, this is not encouraging. No, but seriously, um, I thought this would be more amusing than pushing all the combinations, but I'm starting to doubt my conclusion. I mean, this has got saline in it, We've got our own little bathroom here, we've already filled the sink with water. Um, 
Apparently to interact with the toilet we have to be over there. I am <laughs> perplexed. We're gonna get this, damn it. We don't give up that easily. Storage area 5B, patients not allowed. Got an origami hat. Um, What good is my cabinet key, I wonder? <laughs> I can always get a reaction out of Danielle. Um, fresh Odin. Caution, drinks are hot. You need something? Yeah, food, please? How long are you going to be there serving breakfast? Um... So... Okay. Yeah, you don't have any dialogue options. This one's rusted shut, right? Yes, that's rusted shut. These are little seats. We got trees out here. I don't suppose there's something I can do over there. No, it doesn't look like it. Have I talked with you yet? Person? Person? Now, where did I put that key? I must have dropped it somewhere. It's good to walk... <laughs> Wait. Um... Uh, was it the E key or something? I forget the controls, but this game has some really simple controls. There's no one to talk to here. Excuse me? I'm pretty sure that there's this person to talk to right here. And they want a key, and I have a key. This probably isn't the key they're talking about, because if it were, I would be able to do something. Um... Yeah, I'm confused. I'll try to chase them and mash various keys. Yeah, that's fine. Wonder what key they're talking about. Alright, Cora, can you help me out? <laughs> Kinda doubt it. There's a lot of spare change lying around the hospital, that's for sure. Um, yeah, how did they get into the kitchen? It has me curious, too. Well? I know this is ridiculous, but... Absent a better idea... We weren't able to keep everyone alive, but we tried our best. Fourteen March, J and R. I mean fourteen March might be a code, like fourteen oh three or something, or oh three fourteen. It's worth a shot. 
At this point, anything I can do is worth a shot. <laughs> if we just had the right tools, there's so much more we could do. Um, o R S Y R I I. It would be 1403. Nope. All right, this is, we're getting into ridiculous territory here, but um, this actually isn't so terrible. This is pretty bad, but this could be a lot worse. Also, I'm finding it's just mildly amusing. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, so there's all the II's and III and whatever. Could it be some combination of one, two, three, and four? All right, yeah, I'm unlikely to get a, a fast time that way. Oh, this is the cabinet. Oh, thank goodness. There's a laminated card lying at the bottom of the drawer. No, we're not gonna read the card. Okay, exit 5C passcode, 2954. See, that only would have taken us like an hour. At the rate of a passcode per minute, um, Actually, that would have taken us like a day, but we would have gotten it. But this is a little bit more efficient. All right, figured that out, being the great mystery solver that we are. A jar with an unknown specimen floating inside. Let's, uh, I don't want to go, that looks like a door up there. I don't want to go too far just yet. Medical books. Oh. Sokoban. Gosh darn it. My greatest nightmare. I am okay, and by that I mean not good at Sokoban. Um. That being a block pushing puzzle. The door is locked. Let me guess, this other door here is locked, so I have to do the Sokoban thing. Door is locked. All right, we'll take our chances with Sokoban, although I probably messed up with the first step. Oh, I could push that one any direction, so I haven't messed up yet. Um, so this one's blocked over this way. Oh, really? That's not blocked. Because if that's not blocked, also these would be a, a lot easier puzzles if you could pull as well as push, which is why they're limited to being block pushing puzzles. Um, are you serious? I can't climb over the bed. Nice. That wasn't so hard. All right, I was afraid because like Sokoban take effort to solve and I just got lucky. A lab coat and a pair of scrubs are hanging inside. Looks like there's something inside the lab coat pocket, but it's 5G. You found key, metal door. Medical pamphlets and office supplies. Maybe, well, there's two possibilities. One, that we have to give this to the doctor. Uh, two, that we just use it right here and now. We're never going to catch that fellow. <laughs> wow. I'm not even sure if we're supposed to or not. 
stack of folders. Construction contract for the rebuilding of this third floor, wing 2B. A stack of folders. Uh, you received a card key. Someone left a note here. Joji, remember to remove the card key when you're done this time, okay? We can't just go leaving doors open. I don't want to get in trouble again. You found 5G. Door is locked. It appears there's a tunnel running through here that's been blocked off. Perhaps you could get through if you had the right tools. All right. Wait, can I go through this dangerous zone here? Door is locked. A notice is posted here. For security purposes, all three supervisor card keys must be inserted in order to open this door. All right, let's go through this door. Bills and tax forms. A lanyard with a card key hangs from the other side of the locker. All right, we're living the high life. Dealing with bills and tax forms and card keys. Oh. Yeah, we're still short a card key. You don't have a card key. Construction contract for the third floor. That doesn't exactly help me right now. Well, you got my curiosity. We've already been in this office. This office just has bills and tax forms and the locker that I've already plundered. And the locker's still empty. And Stay Healthy Bot is reminding me to drink water. I have been doing that this whole time. Um, so I probably should be doing more of it, but that would require me to get up and get more water. Okay. So, what now? Unless there's something concealed in one of the corners of this room... I seem to be short one card key. Yes, I'm not seeing a card key. Where could it be hidden? Could I just take the card key that's in this key reader and plug it into the other card key door? Okay, I read too much in the fact that it said all three have to be supplied. Yeah, we get another card key. Woo! Aren't we great? That's a clever puzzle, but I think the text that was in the center can, can actually confuse people. There we go. Only on account of... Um, you might not... Well, it kind of gives away the puzzle if you were to give any better clue. But, um... It still had me thinking that three card keys were for three different supervisors and that they were differentiable. And that each key was uh, allocated to a specific door. My book! Uh-oh. We're dead. It's a little late for visitors, don't you think? Who are you? Oh, I'm no one important. But if you want to call me something, you can call me Uma. 
Are you the one who's been stealing food from the cafeteria? Did you take our book? Uh, I guess you kind of caught me red-handed. Why would you steal from a hospital? Uh, I'm hungry. Down on my luck. What do you want me to say, kid? Wait. Do you live here? For now. Not much of a home, but the beat sleeping on the streets. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry you don't have a real home. Uh, you get used to it after a while. So, kid, are you hungry? I got a bit of a fish head left from last week, if you like. Um, that's okay. But thank you. Thief. <laughs> Look, kid. I'm really sorry I took your book. Please take it back and forgive me for my lapse in judgment. It's okay. I do weird things when I'm hungry, too. Is it okay? Something's not okay. You receive Rockwin. I promise as soon as I get back on my feet, I'll pay the chef back for all the food I took. I just need some time to figure things out. I understand. Oh. One more thing. If I tell you a secret about this hospital, will you promise not to tell the staff that I'm here. Uh, okay. I promise. Break me, and I'll multiply, becoming sharp as a tack. Break me, and I'll multiply, becoming sharp as a tack? The only thing that I can think of that breaks and becomes more multitudinous from breaking might be ice? I've cut myself on icicles before. It's great. But if all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile back. Oh. Hmm. Could be a mirror? A cracked mirror is no good. Cracked mirrors are definitely sharp. What in the world are you doing in here? I, I... Um... Well, I don't know how you got in here, but this area is off limits. Anyways, come with me. Your mom's here. Yeah, you completely abandoned me in the hospital for like two hours. And, okay, fine. Now you're all upset that I'm somewhere I shouldn't be. <laughs> Whatever. Mom! <laughs> After you worked so hard to get our book back, I think you deserve a good bedtime story. Will you read Rocco into me, Mom? Of course I will. lived a boy in a faraway land called Morizora's Forest. Even though he was still quite young, the boy was considered a great warrior by his tribe. One day, the boy returned home from a hunt to find that everyone in his tribe had disappeared. At first, the boy was very afraid, but he soon learned that his tribe had escaped danger by sailing to a world called Rock. In order to reach them, the boy decided to seek help from the great guardian of the forest, Morizora. For it has been said that Morizora would grant one wish to anyone who was able to complete his challenges. Thus, the boy set off on a great journey. He fought evil spirits, visited many lands, and befriended even the most severe of creatures. And at long last, Morizora granted the boy his wish. 
a ride on his magical boat. The boy was now able to sail away, finally reuniting with his tribe and all those he loved in the beautiful world of Rockland. Good night, um... Mom? Is that you? came back. I told you I would. So the doctor told me you were wandering around the backspace. That place is like a construction zone right now, man. Seems awfully dangerous to go there just for a book. It's not just a book. It's been in our family for generations. My grandmother used to read it to my mom when she was a kid. Ah, uh -huh. so you got back for your mom. Yeah, and me too. It's special to both of us. Special to that old homeless guy too. The silver on the side probably sells for a lot. He was hungry. He was probably just trying to make you feel sorry for him so you wouldn't tell on him. He should have felt sorry for you you're the one stuck in the hospital. He could leave any time, but you, you might never get to leave. Well, hey man, I'm sorry for saying that. It's okay. It's true. If it makes you feel better, I'm stuck here too. We can be stuck here together. You're right. Thanks, Yami. I think that's the night shift nurse. Sorry, man. I should go. Yami? Yeah. I hope you get better. Or I hope you get better. Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. Did you sleep okay? Oh. What's the matter? I wish I could go to Morizana and ask him to grant me a wish. But I know it's not real. I'm just stuck here forever, aren't I? Now, I wasn't going to tell you this until you were older, but, but I think you might finally be grown up enough to know the truth about this book. The truth? Do you know why someone tried to steal our book? Because there's silver on it and people can sell silver for money. No, no, that's not why at all. This book is not just an ordinary book. It's a map to Morizoto's forest. A blueprint for what we need to do to meet Morizoto himself. But when the thief took our book, he obviously didn't realize that you need something else in order to get there. This is the Rockwin key. You need it to open the book, as well as the doors. The doors? My grandmother told me that when you have both the book and the key, secret doors will start appearing around you. Doors that lead from this world to Morizoro's forest. There could be doors in this hospital. 
I don't know. And we may never know unless we look ourselves. I want you to have this key. It's very special. And now it belongs to you. You received the silver Rockland book key. Thank you, Mom. But you must promise me you will take good care of it. Oh, I promise. I will take such good care of it. Okay, then. There's only one thing left to do. Let's go find a door to Morizoda's forest. If you want to talk with Mom at any time, press Q. All right. We've been playing for about two hours. Seems like a wonderful place to break. Um, it's very exciting. Now we've got the key to the book, and we may be able to explore Morizoda's forest very soon. So, I uh, wish you all the best uh, for this coming new year, and have a good evening, and um, a good next morning. Take care.